Now on Cox TV News. Help for the homeless. How much money was just announced for Delawareans in need? Climate concerns. What scientists are tracking right now on Delmarva? A warning for parents. What's been detected in these child snacks? Well, warm weather taking over for the holidays. I'll have your Christmas Eve forecast coming up in just a few moments. This is Coast TV News at 11. Good evening, everyone. I'm Madeline Overturf. Welcome to Coast TV News at 11. New tonight, the Delaware State Housing Authority and the Federal Home Loan Bank of Pittsburgh are awarding $1.075 million to 14 nonprofit programs in Delaware. Those are for those who are helping those who are homeless or at risk of becoming homeless. The funding is delivered as grants to help people stay in their homes or find it. Now, some of the groups benefiting from the money include Catholic Charities, the Salvation Army, and the YWCA. Take a look at these applesauce products. The Delaware Division of Public Health says multiple states are reporting children may have higher blood lead levels after eating this recalled product. Good news, no cases yet in Delaware, but if you have any of these snacks, throw them out immediately. If you don't want to cook tomorrow or Christmas, no worries. Restaurants on the coast say more and more people are choosing to eat out for the holiday instead of following tradition and cooking. Restaurants like Touch of Italy and Harvest Tide Steakhouse, they'll be open once again Christmas Eve and Christmas Day this year. The manager of Harvest Tide says holidays are becoming the busiest days of the year. They expect to seat at least 200 guests on Christmas Day. Well, hey, if you haven't finished your Christmas shopping yet, you're in luck. A number of places are still open tomorrow, Christmas Eve. The Tanger Outlets in Rehoboth are open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. If you're going to drive farther but you want to get to Delaware's biggest mall, Christ <coughs> Christiana, excuse me, is open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And for shopping local, I did it today. Shout out to Browse About Books. Call ahead as each local shop's hours will vary. And this brings us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know... Why do you choose to shop last minute? Let's take a look at the results here. Alex, what do you think about all this so far? Yeah, certainly the procrastination is certainly the bit. It's the biggest one. It's definitely procrastination. <laughs> when, when I don't shop in time, procrastination is the big one. I, I want to think it's the busy schedule, but like I said yesterday, um, it's not the busy schedule. It, it, it's almost always procrastination. I agree, and I'm happy to see that these results have continued that way as we have continued seeing the voting. People are being more honest. If you haven't voted yet, the poll is still live at coasttvnews.com or our mobile app. Happening right now, the Maryland Department of Natural Resources asking people to look out for cold, stunned sea turtles. Cold stunning, it's like hypothermia. If you see a lethargic or floating sea turtle in the Chesapeake Bay or on the coast, contact the Maryland Natural Resources Police. And we're going to turn it over to Alex as we take a live look into West Ocean City so I can get some water in this body. Alex, tell us about the weather, please. Yeah, we've got some fantastic weather on the way to the coast for the next couple of days. Boardwalk Plaza Hotel camera in Rehoboth Beach this evening. And we're looking down the boardwalk. You see Santa's house there off in the distance. Skies are pretty much clear out there this evening. They've been, we've been seeing a few extra clouds at times, but they're going to start to fall apart. Temps sitting right around 45 degrees in Rehoboth Beach this evening. We're in the 40s all across Delmarva right now. Really not that bad for late December at 11 p.m. 45 in Rehoboth Beach, 44 in Bethany Beach, 42 in Millsboro, 41 degrees in Milton Winds. Rather light. They're not going to be an issue. There's those extra clouds we're seeing. The green that you're seeing on there, really not anything reaching the ground. We don't have to be concerned with any wet weather. Tomorrow, those clouds fall apart. Christmas Eve, up to 54 degrees under those mainly sunny skies. And then Christmas Day, it gets even better. We're going to be talking about temps climbing up into the mid to upper 50s. And still, we're going to be enjoying that sunshine. Alex, thank you. To some news across the peninsula now. A terrifying robbery in Harrington. Police say a 20-year-old man, Macy Mondestin from Federalsburg, broke into a home here Thursday around 7. Police say the elderly woman was inside sleeping. She woke up when she heard him breaking in. She was able to hide and try to call 911, but they say he found her and forced her out. Police say Mondestin bizarrely told the woman it was his house, then left the room, allowing her to call 911 again at the same time troopers arrived. Mondestin is facing multiple charges. 
Well, Delmarva's been no stranger to heavy rainfall this month, and our meteorologist Alex Seymour looked into how the warming climate could contribute to the increase in these heavy rain events. Heavy rain has drenched Delmarva this month with two large storms bringing Delmarva record-breaking rain. The most recent rain resulted in floodwaters rushing across roads, flooded farm fields, and water up to homes. Many locations on Delmarva are on pace to see the most rain ever during the month of December, with some areas having seen nearly nine inches of rain so far. Climate change is making these intense rains more likely. That is something we would expect to see in a warmer climate in that you have more moisture from the warmer temperatures and that is fueling more intense storms. Heavy rainfall events have increased substantially in the Northeast, increasing by 55% from 1958 through 2016 as storms feed off the warm Atlantic. Warmer sea surface temperatures, that is also, you know, a really big source of moisture and fuel for these storms. So if you have any sort of low moving over that area and it's nice and juicy and warm, it's going to be more effective at producing these really intense storms that can hold a lot of moisture. Dougherty in a 2020 study looked at flood producing storms and found that this rise in heavy rainfall events could be just a start to a problem we may have to deal with for decades to come. We found that, you know, the East Coast especially it already has a lot of moisture, um, and so that moisture is expected to increase uh, even more so. And we saw increases up to two inches per storm by end of century in a warmer climate. This flooded farm field behind me is just one of many that remains across Delmarva from the heavy rains earlier this week. And with more heavy rain in the forecast for the rest of this month, flooding is going to remain a concern. I'm meteorologist Alex Seymour in Georgetown. Coast TV News. This time tomorrow, tune into Coast TV News for our Del Marvelous Christmas special. The special will play Christmas Eve at 11 p.m. and Christmas Day at 5 p.m. It's full of holiday cheer, love, and celebrations that you do not want to miss. We have a lot more news to get to this evening. If you're going to go visit the Salisbury Zoo, there's a few special hours you need to know about. <laughs> a look at Del Marva's Holiday House. Some of the best lights up on Delmarva. But first, a look back at this week on Delmarva. Remember all that flooding Alex was just talking about? That story and so much more that you might have missed when we're back in just 60 seconds. Oh, porches. Hello, aren't you the guy I see on TV, the porch protection guy? Yeah, so I would So they're say... made of marine grade materials that last for years? Yeah, I would And go... they say I could use my porch all year round? I think and so. And they keep the dirt pollen and rain and wind out? And, and the custom made right here locally? They are. I got to run, but it was really nice talking to you. Well, it was nice talking to you too. Call or visit porchprotection.com for your free quote. Ever have a day that just couldn't get any worse? Meet Tyler, the champion of chaos. Having a day that's gone from bad to worse. When life throws you a string of unfortunate events, the law office of Trap Nickel is here to provide a helping hand. Our experienced workers' compensation team is here to fight for your rights and help shape your misfortune into meaningful compensation. If you've been injured at work, don't wait. Get the justice you deserve. The law office of Trap Nickel. Your priority is our priority. The last week before Christmas actually had a lot of news going on on the coast. Our Charlie Sakaitis has a look at our week in review. Monday, some Delmarva towns were battling flooding from last weekend's big nor'easter. Dangerous standing water proved to be a lingering issue and some drivers were even forced to look for detours in certain areas. Tuesday, the Army Corps of Engineers was working around the clock to replenish the beaches in the northern parts of Lewis, adding around 100,000 cubic yards of sand to the beach. The city of Lewis typically gets replenishment on a six-year cycle. Wednesday, developers presented plans for two giant neighborhoods along Lewis-Georgetown Highway to a state panel. They're called North Star and Cool Springs Crossing. The two developments would add thousands of new homes to the area, though some worry that it's too much too fast. Thursday, in a special election, the people of Millsboro and Georgetown made their choice. 
Republican Valerie Jones Giltner winning the race for District 37, topping Democrat Jane Huffington by nearly 800 votes. And Friday, no surprise, last minute shoppers scouring area stores. Both local and big name chains were busy with people panicked by their own procrastination, a tradition almost as old as Christmas itself. For your Week in Review, I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Well, we're staying warm through the holidays, but wet weather will be returning before the end of the year. I'll time out our next chance of rain coming up just after the break. At Atlantic General Hospital, we've been busy. Busy expanding healthcare services that are second to none in our region. From cancer care, and women's health services, to orthopedics, gastroenterology, and more, we provide advanced health technologies delivered by top providers. Expert care every day. It's what you can count on from Atlantic General Hospital. Sign up to grow your team at the 2024 Draper Media Job Fair, powered by Premier Staffing Solutions. Be a part of the best marketed and most successful job fair on Delmarva, according to past employers who participated. The Draper Media Job Fair is Saturday, February 24th from 10 to 2 in the Jason Building at Dell Tech in Georgetown. Meet over 1,000 applicants looking for work. For more info, go to wbocevents.com. If you want to head to the Salisbury Zoo, it's open until 2 p.m. Christmas Eve. The zoo is closed Christmas Day and resumes regular hours the day after Christmas, 9 a.m. on December 26. Well, we've got some fantastic weather. If you do plan on heading to the zoo over the next couple of days, as we're going to be enjoying some pretty warm temps for this time of year. Orsted camera in West Ocean City this evening. Skies pretty much clear for the most part there are a few clouds still lingering right now but they're going to be moving out pretty soon temp sitting right around 45 degrees in west ocean city we're in the 40s all across delmarva at this hour a few locations down in the upper 30s greenwood 38 degrees is 39 in milford but lewis we're sitting at 41 it's 44 in bethany beach and 45 degrees in ocean city this evening the winds rather light not going to be a concern throughout the overnight hours and really over the next several days the winds are going to be rather light salary radar picture we're seeing the last of the clouds starting to move out of the area that are at the beach they're going to be clearing out soon some clearing skies across north northern portions of Sussex County. That's why we were seeing a few locations finally dipping down into the 30s. And as we continue to see these skies clear out, many of us will fall into the upper 30s. So it will be a little bit chilly tomorrow morning, but nothing that's that big of a concern. This time of year, upper 30s actually doesn't feel that bad. Well, those clouds, the rain that we're seeing off to our west, we don't have to worry about that either. We're going to be talking about mainly clear skies for tomorrow. Christmas Eve, our forecast looking fantastic. Temps climbing up to about 54 degrees, mainly sunny skies. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, as we were talking about earlier, even better. And the elves certainly dance and certainly joyful about this forecast. 57 degrees, mostly sunny skies. It's going to be quite pleasant. There will be some easterly winds, so at the immediate beaches, it may be a little bit cooler. Probably talk about temps right around 51, 52 degrees, maybe in Rehoboth Beach, and then point southward along that route one quarter. But anywhere inland, up to about 57. And then Kwanzaa, that is on Tuesday. 60 degrees so it's just going to continue to climb over the next several days before 
we have to deal with a bit of wet weather. What that's associated with, well, we're going to see an area of low pressure move up into the middle of the country. That's going to bring some pretty impactful weather to the middle of the country through Christmas Day. But the energy from that main system is going to transfer to the Mid-Atlantic, and we're going to see an area of low pressure start to move through our area. And along with that, we're likely going to be seeing that rain moving back into the area. This is by 7.30 a.m. on Wednesday, and then we're talking about rain showers, maybe even heavy at times, throughout the entire day on Wednesday. So we could be picking up another decent rainfall event. Not going to be anything like what we saw earlier in the month, but we could pick up easily another half an inch to an inch, and with those very saturated grounds, that could result in a little bit more flooding. Nothing too serious, but certainly something that we'll have to keep an eye on over the next couple of days. Our Paul Davis restoration and home remodeling seven-day forecast. Well, through Tuesday, through Kwanzaa, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Kwanzaa, looking gorgeous. 50s, 60 degrees. We stay warm on Wednesday, and then take a look at this. As we head towards next week and New Year's weekend, temps start to cool down. Highs owning the low to mid-40s next Saturday. Looks great, Alex. Alex. Thank, Thank you. you. Still to come, a look at some of the most beautiful holiday decorations on Delmarva when Coast TV News returns. It hardly ever snows in our house this time of year, which can be a big bummer. But I still check every day, just in case. My mom says never give up because the holidays are full of miracles. And they are, especially with my mom. You're always there for them, and we're always here for you. Food Lion, here for every moment. Building a portfolio that gives you opportunities to grow your savings can be a challenge. Our team at Rosemont Wealth Management takes this challenge seriously. Contact us and we can work together on a comprehensive game plan that truly embodies your personal values and life objectives. Our focus is on what is important to you, your family, your lifestyle, your life events, so that you can maintain your lifestyle all the way through retirement. At Rosemont Wealth Management, we serve first, last, and always. Are you struggling to lose weight? Do you want to live a healthier and more empowered life? Whether it's been a lifelong struggle or you're new to weight loss, we can help you get the results you're looking for. At Tidal Health, we offer a comprehensive and customized approach to weight loss that includes surgical and medical options. Our team of dedicated professionals is committed to making sure you have the knowledge and support to reach your goals and get on the path to wellness. To learn how you can reach your goal weight, visit TidalHealth.org slash lose weight today. At Draper Media, we offer more than TV and radio advertising. We reach your customers wherever they are, at the gas pump, in bars and restaurants, driving around Delmarva, in a taxi or rideshare at the beach, on social media, or searching for products and services, checking their email, and listening to podcasts or streaming video. Our plans fit all your business needs. Email Frank Hamilton today. We love decorating for the holidays and seeing your home. Take a look at this home sent to us from the Schmitz in Lewis. A beautiful display with the nativity, the reason for the season. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Schmitz, for sending that to us. You can send us your photos and videos to coasttvnews.com slash holiday house. Thank you everyone who has supported our Bless Our Children campaign. We have collected $324,000, a lot over that, to help provide Christmas for children who might go without. Here's a look at some people who have helped make that happen. We really want to thank the businesses, groups, and individuals who have stepped up to the Shell Brothers Challenge of donating at least $1,000 to Draper Media's Bless Our Children campaign. Here is the Shell Brothers honor roll in order of amounts given in increments of $1,000. Friends and family of Captain Bob's Oyster Roast, Atlantic Community Thrift Shop, officers and members of Ocean City Elks Lodge number 2645, Clark and Sons Garage Doors, James Maloney, Boggs Disharoon Post 123, Evans Builders, Eastern Shore Corvette Club, General Refrigeration Company, Caliber Collision Local Centers, Carolyn D. Lehman Johnson, Wright Locations, Seaboard Billboard Boat, Wicomico County Public Schools, Right Way Flagging and Sign, MR Ducks Family, Delmar VFW Post 8276, Tony Tank Tribe 149, Pocomoke Elks 1624, in memory of Stacy Dorch, Salisbury Elks Lodge, 
Shagrin Gas and Home Comfort Products. Unfinished Business. Cape Henlopen and Elks, number 2540. Bunting and Murray Construction. Midway Par 3. Parkway Church of God. Lewis Rehoboth Rotary Club. June and John Lewis. Peninsula Imaging. ASAP Services Pumping and Disposal. Johnny Janosik. Bob Williams Sons. Classic Cakes. Ocean City Berlin Optimus Foundation. Tuckahoe Underground. Ocean City Berlin Optimus Club. ABC Refrigeration. Edward Jones Office of Melinda Tingle. J. Stacy Hart and Associates. Goldsboro Family Foundation. Wheels That Heal Car Club. Freddie Holland. Alan Corman and Son. Ramco Solutions. In memory of Shirley Doherty, David and Louise. FH Fur Plumbing. HVAC Electrical. Delaware Mobile Surf Fisherman. Collins Wharf Sod. Pools, pavers, and more. Terra Firma of Delmarva. Eastern Shore Auctions by Willie Benton. Apgar Turf Farm. Jefferson, Urian, Doan, and Sterner, PA. King Crop Insurance. Historical Vintage Car Club of Delaware. Murray's Residential Services. Archon Training Center. Towers Concrete Products. Mid-Atlantic Transport. Officers and members of American Legion Nanocoke Squadron No. 6. In memory of Maurice and Pearl Jordan. GNS Heating and Air, Dagsboro Paint and Wallpaper, MG Safer Services, State Orphans Board, Great Council of Delaware, Mount Zion Holiness Church, Burris Logistics, O'Neill's Millwright and Services, Iron Order Motorcycle Club, Delaware, Garden Bears Landscaping, in honor of Billo Hickman, Shore Fun Tractor Poolers, Moose Lodge 646, Women of Faith Zion Church Salisbury, in loving memory of John Angelus, Wicomico Lodge 91. Holly Lake Campsite, Cary Insurance Group, Ashley Fence, St. Mark's UMC Easton, Linda's Tax and Bookkeeping Services, Delmarva Art Expo and Wool and Fiber Expo, Thomas E. Melvin and Son Funeral Home, Johnson's Seed and Feed, Mike Singleton and Son's Pest Control, Powellville UMC, Queen City Elks Lodge number 1051, Pumpkin Chunkin Association, Contractors for a Cause Foundation, Hugh H. Hickman and Sons, Quota International Salisbury, Idlewild Brewerton Club, Shore United Bank, Allen Lions Club, Paradise Plumbing, Collins Mechanical in memory of Sam Ellers III, Coastal Maintenance, Richard Y. Johnson and Sun General Contractor, CJ's Beach Bays, The Carroll Family, Murray Sod Farm, Daisy's Well Drilling, Members of the Willard's Lions Club, the R.D. Greer and Sons, Bennett's Lawn Service, Accurate Termite and Pest Control, Coastal Towing, Odd Fellows Lodge Number 3, Slaughter Septic Services, American Legion Post 64, Delmarva Two-Way Radio, Fillmore Day Real Estate Services, Hickman Beach Plaza, in memory of Jack Spencer, Bethel Community Church, Preston R. Smith Plumbing and Heating, Red Knights MD3 Motorcycle Club, in loving memory of Sean Knoll, Joan W. Jenkins Foundation, B&R Auto Parts, Jolly Rogers Amusement Parks, Brothers of Dorchester Elks Lodge No. 223, Donna Dorman Adams, A.E. Moore Janitorial, American Legion Cinepunxen Post No. 166, Gary and Cheryl Layfield and Boys, Missionary Baptist Church, Wicomico Day School, Salisbury Moose Lodge, Mike and Nancy West, Gloria Knox, Selbyville Elks Lodge 2173, Eastern Shore Region Antique Car Club, Corrado Construction, K&T Utilities, American Veterans Thrift Store, Gingerbread Farms, in memory of Richard and Helen Webb, Rich and Karen Gollin, Old Timers Softball League, Residents of Mariner's Cove, in memory of Lily Patrick Feinstein, The Human Fund, Binstead Construction, Curtis Mercer Remodeling, Physicians at Bay Health, Kent and Sussex Campuses, East Sussex Moose Lodge 2542, Road Wolves Motorcycle Club, Don and Stephanie McIntaffer, Sons of the American Legion number 123, Frankfurt Presbyterian Church Thrift Shop, Shaka Shack Restaurant, Delaware Good Sam Camping Club, Bridgeville Lions Foundation, Dorman Adams, Dr. and Mrs. Chris Conyers, in memory of Samuel S. Henry Jr., Greater Berlin Minority, Preston Gromark F.S., American Legion Post Number 94, 
Southern Delaware Golf Club, Harborside Bar and Grill, in memory of Gary Parks. Maddox Bros Trucking, Coast LLC, in memory of Ken Prettyman. AccuTrench Contracting, employees of Hebron Savings Bank, Earl Johnson Painting, Laurel American Legion Post 19, in loving memory of John B. Pittman. Ancient Order of Hiberians, Emerald Isle Division 1. American Legion Auxiliary Cinepunxin Unit Number 166. In memory of Granville and Joanne Trimper. Whitehall Neck Sportsman Club. Scotts Cove Marina. Safari Services. Premier Glass and Screen. Southern Delaware Street Rod Association. American Legion Post Number 237. Scott and Natasha Smith. Jerry's Inc. Delaware Electric Cooperative. Taylor and Messick. Mount Enon Baptist Church. Again, we appreciate all of you stepping up to the Shell Brothers Challenge as part of Draper Media's Bless Our Children campaign. If you'd like to help, send your card and donation to Bless Our Children in care of Draper Media at 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. Or you can donate on our website, blessourchildren.org. Thank you for helping Draper Media lend a hand, and together we can make the holidays this year a special one. Bless Our Children is administered by the Draper Holdings Charitable Foundation. Your Christmas variety station, The Duck. <coughs> scratch-offs from the Maryland Lottery. Hmm. Must have left them in the car. They're sure to make spirits bright. The doctors of Delmarva Chiropractic take great pride in offering the finest, most individualized care to their patients and stay on the cutting edge of healthcare and clinical interventions. As winners of Coastal Style and Metropolitan Magazine's Best Chiropractors for seven years in a row, doctors Lane, Brown, and Taylor help with conditions such as back pain, sciatica, headaches, concussions, dizziness, and much more. The clinic also offers laser therapy, decompression, acupuncture, and custom orthotics. Call Delmarva Chiropractic today and take the first step toward achieving your maximum potential. Oh, they're out there by the millions. And spiders, crickets, and ants are always looking for a place to call home. Look, up ahead is your home. And to them, it looks like the perfect place to settle in. Call Brazier's, and our expert technicians will establish a defensive barrier around your home that will keep out the riffraff. Our premium protection plan is guaranteed to keep spiders, crickets, and ants from moving into your home for a full year. Call Brazier's Pest Control today and say goodbye to unwanted guests. Positive, focused. Supportive and goal-oriented. These are just a few qualities of coaches who inspire their athletes. Each month, the Preston Automotive Group will select a coach who makes a difference and make a $500 donation to their organization. Then at the end of the year, three of these coaches will receive an extra donation to their program. Nominate your coach today at DelmarvaSportsNetwork.com under the Features tab. Delmarva Sports Network Coach Who Makes a Difference. Brought to you by Preston Automotive Group. If you want to adopt, not shop for the holiday, the Brandywine Valley SPCA is open till 3 p.m. Christmas Eve. The Animal Rescue open till 5. And shelters, reminder though, those are closed for Christmas. Well, we've got some really warm weather on the way for the next few days for the holiday season. Christmas Eve up to 54 degrees, 57 on Monday on Christmas Day, and 60 for Kwanzaa on Tuesday. Rain's on the way for Wednesday, and then take a look at this as we head towards next week and New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. We're talking about highs only climbing out climbing up to near 40 degrees, overnight lows in the 20s, so that wintertime chill will eventually make its way back in just in time for the new year. Alex, thank you, and thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 11. For more news and local weather, you can download our Coast TV News app. Saturday Night Live starts right now, so have a great night and a very happy holiday.